I really like the design, how all the rooms open up into the wide open middle and the, uh, the wood design. It has a really homey feeling. Now this is a high end hotel. It's a high end experience. It's by a famous person. If I become really rich, I'm gonna model my mansion after this hotel here in Medellin. This is a review for El Cielo restaurant and hotel. I really like the design, how all the rooms open up into the wide open middle and the, uh, the wood design. It has a really homey feeling. Now this is a high end hotel. It's a high end experience. It's by a famous person. It's by a famous chef. His name is Juan Manuel Barrientos. He's 38 years old and he's from this city. Apparently this is a chain. The price I paid for this room was 450,000 Colombian pesos. That's gonna be on the cheaper end. I pick and chose the cheapest day. Typically you're gonna be charged uh, five, six, or 700, 800. That's kind of in the range. So up to 200 US dollars. They add an extra 45,000 for an extra person, which I'm not sure if other hotels do that or not. Occupancy two, that's the baked in price. Here they do 45K for an extra person. It does come with an included breakfast if you pay an additional 45k. I just had that this morning. We'll get into the food and the restaurant situation, which is a kind of a video in and of itself. But I did find it odd. There was a, a coffee included breakfast that I paid for and I ordered a cappuccino, which I guess is a little higher and they charged me 5k for that. That's a little bit strange being at such an expensive hotel. Anyways, this is in the best neighborhood in Medellin, Astorga. If you remember, we're just down the street from Masaya, which I stayed at just last week for a week. Masaya, if you remember, was about 250 bucks for a private room. You could probably even get 200 for a smaller private room. That's the difference or about half price. The highlight of this hotel, you, you are paying more than normal, but you do receive more than normal. The design is the highlight of this hotel. It's There's a lot of attention to detail from the chairs in the lobby to the shower, to the rooftop pool. The attention to detail was high, including the service. The guys are dressed immaculately. The security guards, they're there waiting for you and they bring your stuff in. They bring you up to the lobby, which is on the third or fourth floor. They immediately offer you a water, a coffee, even a selection of, of liquor that you can have while you wait for your room. I got here about 12.30 and I was able to check in at 2 p.m. Even this morning, actually, when I just had my breakfast, I went into the bathroom and there was even roses, fresh roses in the bathroom. So the design here is definitely high end. Uh, there's a few design features in this room that I'll get into in a second. But speaking of the rooftop, it is, uh, it's cool, it's nice, it's relaxing. It's rather small, but there is a pool, there is some lounge chairs, and there is a gym which is cool. There's actually four gyms in the immediate area <laughs> in this neighborhood, but uh, that's a cool feature, especially for me. I value that that's cool. The reason why I'm staying at El Cielo Hotel and doing this video series is because I recently purchased and opened up a four bedroom, four bathroom, high-end penthouse lofted Airbnb in Provenza. Provenza is the the high-end neighborhood of this area, walkable to restaurants, bars, shoppings, dining, parks, etc. That is live now, the Belmonte Penthouse. It is live now on Airbnb. I'm gonna put a link in the description here. You can also search on Google for the Belmonte Penthouse. You'll find my YouTube, my Instagram, my website, and probably even the Airbnb listing. Reach out to me there if you're interested in a in a more private experience, not in a hotel with a four bedrooms. It's 230 square meters, 202,500 square feet. The front side of the hotel is under construction, unfortunately. They tell me it's gonna be a bar. They tell me it will be ready in a few months. We would be about January, February. We're in Colombia, so it'll be ready March or April. That will be a neat feature for sure. That will be a significant upgrade because right now the only real common space, which is something I, I do value in a hotel, hotel is the rooftop pool and when I got here it was sunny I went up I checked it out I ordered some food I came back down to change into my swimsuit I went back up I kid you not less than 10 minutes it was sunny I get up there it's raining I go through my computer it's raining and it rains for the next two hours that's uh, nothing to do with this review that's Colombian weather for you or Medellin weather specifically so when that bar opens up that'll be a cool place to hang out and, and, and have a drink at night right now the lobby uh, is cool but it's pretty solo and then down stairs is the hotel, which it is, this hotel is a bit stuffy. It's for very rich people. Uh, so you get that kind of feeling like, you know, I go down in sandals. And if you know, you already know if you're from here, you've been here, sandals are a no-no at any time, <laughs> even if it's hot. But uh, you get that feeling like if you're not properly dressed, you're getting kind of 
ooh, it shunned away. Anyways, not a big deal, not a big deal. Could just be in my head as well. So the restaurant, El Cielo Restaurant, I found this out this morning. So when you enter the hotel, there's a bistro. The first thing you go into, the first restaurant type area is a bistro. It's separated by a water feature and a living wall with the El Cielo logo all the way up to the rooftop. Behind that is El Cielo restaurant. I tried to go there two times yesterday and both times I got turned away. I felt that was that was kind of odd. This morning I asked. It's an experiential restaurant. It's like a Michelin type star restaurant where you have 22 dishes based on different regions in Colombia. And I had her repeat the price like three times because it's a lot cheaper than I think it should be. It's 250,000 pesos that's that's really cheap for example last night i just went to dinner with a friend and it was three hundred thousand. now i did get a very expensive drink but for 22 dishes i don't know it seems like a good deal now that is not including drinks now this this the chef uh an interesting thing is i ordered pizza my lunch yesterday from the bistro which by the way has delicious food i was surprised uh, i'm not a foodie and it was really good i remember thinking it was really good now i was i was hungry but i asked it was uh, it was a mushroom with truffle sauce and i I asked to add chicken and the guy said no chicken and I said why and he said the chef it's a personal choice of the chef and then I said okay why I'm just kind of curious and he didn't know I'd be curious why the chef uh, doesn't use chicken but uh, that's the thing here no chicken so there's El Cielo Hotel 250k 22 dishes not including drinks you do need a reservation for that I did not try that out I did eat at the bistro two times delicious food really comfortable seats something I forgot to mention about El Cielo Hotel I guess it's rather famous and I guess it's even studied in universities I did a little Wikipedia search before this but I don't know I haven't uh, anyone been to El Cielo let me know in the comments okay and to wrap up this review let me talk about the room here it is the bed here here might be the comfiest bed I have ever slept on. Now, I have had sore back issues for the last six months. I don't know why. I haven't changed anything about my life for that to start happening. Since then, I've changed my diet. I changed countries. I've changed beds. I changed how I sleep. I've taken supplements. Nothing has worked. I woke up this morning, no sore back. I gotta ask him what it was. That is a comfy king sized bed. I love it. I, you know, you come back here maybe for the bed. Seriously. It is a tiny eat Beatsy, beatsy, tiny little room. It's probably 15 square meters. That's 150 feet. It might even be less than that, to be honest. It might be like 120. It's really small. That to me isn't a big deal. You're not coming to a hotel to chill in the room. The bed, huge deal. The size of the room, not so much of a deal. The Wi-Fi is a bit wonky. Downstairs, I tested it yesterday and today, 50 megabytes per second. He, last night I tested it and it was, it was eight megabytes per second in the room. So I'm not sure what was going on there. Could have just been a one-time thing. The attention to detail, as I already referenced, it, it follows you here. You get water bottles, which are in the, you know, the glass high-end water bottles with really high-end glasses to put the water in. There is the soaps and the shampoos. You can tell it's a cut above. It's not, it's not standard stuff like you would get at Messiah. The light switches here, you can see right here that black light switch. There's also one in the front. You just, you click it and it goes up and down uh, and it works. It works. There's a click. There's a button for the blackout shades, which come automatically. Now my buddy stayed in hotel 23 or 23 hotel and they have a little um, application that con controls the lights. And while it's cool, he said it doesn't work, which is true. Being a Airbnb expert, I know that hosts who try and get fancy with the lights don't often work. This is a good idea. It's in it's in the wall and they actually work. Now there is no views. Let me show you. There are no views in this hotel. That is what I'm looking at. I'm on the second floor. Even if you were on a higher floor, you're not going to get much of a view. Additionally, I'm not sure if these windows are tinted. I'll have to try and check it from the other side, but I wasn't sure if I had to close the shades every time when I change. That wraps up my review of El Cielo Hotel and Restaurant. I'm going to be staying at other hotels and hostels in the area. If you want me to check out a hotel or hostel you have interest in, throw it in the comments and I will get on that probably within the next month. Until next time.